Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Time for our word of the day. Again, just sorry I'm not able to sit down with driving and some meetings, doing a few things. But I was struck today, and I've just been thinking about this for a few days, about what it means to reproduce, about what it means to have fruit in our life, about what it means to do something productive, effective for change in our lives. What does it look like? What does it take for us to rise up to affect things, to have an impact? And I got to thinking about the Bible and what Jesus says. Jesus makes this statement. He says, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Now, there's a lot of implications from this verse that Jesus gives us out of Luke. But one of the implications is this. In order for life to happen, death must, must happen. And they say, whoa, 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 that, that don't sound right. Well, think of a seed. A seed has to die to itself. It has to be crushed. And once that seed is broken, once that seed dies, it can then begin to sprout and grow and produce fruit. And the same is true for the life of the Christian. When we die to ourselves, when we crucify our desires, when we crucify our flesh, when we crucify our wants, our motivations, our pleasures, our passions, and every bit of sin, when we lay that down daily, and as we daily give that to Jesus, be crucified on the cross of Jesus Christ, Jesus says, then, then we can live. So can I ask you today, what are those things that are holding you back? What are those sins? What are those passions? What are those things in your life that you know that are keeping you from making an impact and growing as a disciple of Jesus Christ? Can I encourage you today to nail them to the cross, allow Jesus to cover them with his blood, and then I promise you, you will see the impact in your life that you truly want to have and that God desires for you to have. As always, we we'll hope to see you Sunday. God bless.